Howdy everyone, I'm the Black Shadow and welcome to this uh, rather brief update video. This is mainly a response to the feedback video that I posted for Resident Evil 3 and Resident Evil Resistance a few days ago. Uh, thank you to everyone that has uh, responded to said video. So this is mainly uh, uh, outlying uh, the plans for what I'm going to be doing with Resident Evil 3, Resident Evil Resistance. And then also we're going to be talking uh, further wide for the channel's uploading plans over the next couple of weeks and beyond. Um, as um, it needs to be done, and my date of moving house is kind of starting to submit itself, so I'm having to kind of plan around that. Uh, first of all, again, uh, I would like to just thank everyone who did respond uh, to the uh, feedback video that I put here on the comments section. I should probably move that. Um, I will apologize. I didn't respond to many comments actually on here, um, but I did definitely look through all of them. Um, so thanks to all the responses here that I did get hold of. Um, been a very mixed um, opinions in regards to what we should or should not do. Uh, now that we've completed Resident Evil 3 uh, on hardcore mode, um, a, a few people suggest pretty much everyone's saying that I should play the game on Inferno, which I expected. Um, but regarding Nightmare Mode, a variety of uh, different options. Um, some saying that I'd like to see uh, me do a full run of it. Some saying that I'd like to, to see rather a highlight section to kind of leave things interesting for Inferno. But then I had a few folks uh, give me a different suggestion regarding what we should do with Nightmare, which I thought was actually a rather, rather good idea. Um, Andre, uh, Andre here, uh, saying here that we should consider streaming Nightmare. And he wasn't the only one either. A few other folks have suggested seeing that. Uh, Jimmy here also suggesting to stream Nightmare. Uh, Believer, I believe, posted somewhere or another on a comment I can't seem to see to also look at stream Nightmare. A few people also suggested the hats in my idea, yes, to go and actually stream Nightmare on Twitch. Um, which I hadn't thought of the time of uh, making the video, but on uh, thinking about it, actually sounds like a really, really decent idea. Because what I can do is, um, is we can stream uh, the game on Twitch. So those who want to see it can do. Those who'd rather just see the highlights don't necessarily need to. Um, and those who don't even want to see Inferno don't have to get involved in any way or shape or form. What I can also double um, the stream as, as well, seeing as we've now taken the game on once, is I'm going to double it up as a bit of like a kind of semi-social slash kind of like communal review of the game as well. Um, that's why I use it because I did give a brief summation of my thoughts on Resident Evil 3 in the credits at the end of part 11, which is the last episode of the local series on Hardcore. Um, but it's been a few days since then, and it's going to be a few days between now and when I actually do the recording. And playing through the game a second and third time will highlight things perhaps I didn't notice first off. Folks have probably got their own views on various bits and pieces of the game, and, uh, you know, you need to listen to these kind of views to kind of get a, a more informed judgment about a game. So we're going to double it, uh, as a, um, as that, basically. A kind of a communal review stream as well as actually just playing the game on Resident Evil, for Resident Evil 3 on nightmare mode now i did also ask as well regarding what items we should look to use for the actual game and if we just boot up uh said game here uh, we got ourselves into bonuses so yes i did ask about what items i'd look to do perhaps potentially get from the shop for the purposes of this run uh we are going to uh well I had a lot of responses in regarding to how much use these items actually going to be. Uh, especially when it comes to like Inferno. If you were saying that like if you just like um, just chuck loads of these items at yourself, it makes the game a lot easier than it should necessarily need to be. And um, that is of course kind of against the spirit of the channel. Also, of course, different people's opinion of what's hard and what's not is going to vary depending on skill levels and all the rest of it. So what I'm going to do for the nightmare run is I'm only going to go ahead and buy the Samurai Edge. It's the only item I'm going to buy for Nightmare Mode. And we're going to kind of see how things go. Uh, if things are still challenging but not too bad, then I'll probably just run the Samurai Edge again for Inferno Mode. Uh, if it turns out that even Nightmare Mode is brutally hard, then I might have to reconsider getting some extra bits and pieces for uh, Inferno Mode. Inferno Mode, I will be locally recording. I will not be streaming Inferno Mode. That will be a local recording, much like the Hardcore. Um, but uh, I think it might be an idea to kind of, um, you know, do this for Nightmare, do a little something extra for it. I think it would be pretty sweet. But that's the all I intend to do is get the Samurai Edge for the Nightmare run and potentially Inferno as well. 
Right, so that takes us to the overall upload schedule for the channel going ahead for the next couple of weeks or so. We are here on Friday the 10th of April, and it's running forward for the next couple of weeks or so. As you can see, it's fairly busy, but probably needs some explaining. So, um, basically, this is kind of where we're at here. Now, the main thing I need to point out to start where I was building this is here. Um, I, as I mentioned in the previous big update video I did, uh, I'm going to be moving house very, very soon. And, uh, while that has been a little bit delayed because of the extenuating circumstances of how the world is currently working, it's looking pretty damn likely it's going to be somewhere towards the back end of that week there, somewhere around the 23rd to the 25th. One of those days is very likely to be the one I'm going to move. Now... I am kind of hesitant to start doing a local series, uh, like a new, fresh new local series, until at least after I make the move. Because uh, once I move into the property, I don't know if there's going to be immediate internet access or not. It's kind of in the air. It might take a few days for that actually to be the case. Um, and so if I'm doing a local series, um, I may, you know, a fresh one. I don't know. I don't, I'm trying to avoid interruptions to local series. Uh, as it is at this point, or oh, the only local series I'm doing is Resident Evil 3 and RTK11 along with Alonzo. They're the only two series that I'm doing locally at the moment. Everything else uh, was finished. Dead Rising 2 is finished. Dark Cloud is finished. Um, and uh, I have been doing a lot of streams, which is what this is all about. Um, I kind of don't want to start anything until things are kind of set up there. Uh, I think that's a reasonable thing for me to look to do. And to be fair, between now and then, uh, I don't really want to be spending all my time doing recording and video editing because, you know, I've got to move to sort out and I've got to pack all my stuff and all the rest of it. So I think it's probably best that I try and uh, ease off on the amount of actual video editing that I'm going to be doing over the next couple of weeks or so to allow me to get that sorted. With that said, however... What we do have is a huge load of videos from backlogs of streams that I've been doing over the past several weeks. This has been for me ever since I did lockdown week, um, about a week and a half ago it was now, um, as well as other bits and pieces as well. So we've got um, some stuff I did say on lockdown week I was going to be uh, uploading to YouTube, and that is still the case. Believe me, we did more than this over the course of that week. So uh, that includes the um, Consuming Shadow run that we did, plus the one before that which I haven't actually got around to uploading onto YouTube yet. Uh, we did a small session on RV6 Mercs at the end of some Outbreak streams, uh, which won't be going up because that was never the intention, and I don't have access to them anyways now. They've, they've gone into the ether. Uh, we've got the two Remake 2 runs, uh, which we did. That was the Leon A. Claire B. scenarios. I said I finally do. They'll be going to YouTube. Uh, also, the huge amount of Resident Evil Resistance I've been playing. Um, again, I also asked you guys who are interested in... Uh, seeing uh, bits and pieces of resistance and uh, we're going to die uploading some of the games to YouTube over the next few weeks or so and see basically what happens um, and kind of go from there. Um, on top of that as well, um, back a Monday or so ago as part of the lockdown week, uh, we also did a social communal stream of a game called Among Us uh, with uh, many people from the channels, as other people like Pistol Peach, Shotgun Jen, uh, Gears Games was there, quite a few folks were involved for that stream, uh, which we did a couple of Mondays ago, which is a lot of entertainment. I hadn't initially planned on uploading that to YouTube, but I reckon probably should. It was quite entertaining. And we're going to be doing another stream of that as well on Tuesday coming at 5pm. I'll get to the streams a little bit more in a moment. Um, so that will also be going up as well. And so the idea is basically over the next couple of weeks or so, um, I'm going to be using this stream up uh, backlog um, as uploads for the channel because uh, obviously there are folks who didn't necessarily catch this content who would be very interested in doing so. Um, and so I'll be using that over the next few weeks to kind of to keep things tidy over until things sort themselves out on my end. Uh, and now, the only other thing I do have planned for Remake 3 um, is so we've got the, the night st Nightmare stream I'm intending to do on next Friday at 4 p.m. I'm going to break that down and make that into a highlights video for the following Tuesday because some folks were interested in watching that. If you're interested in watching the whole stream, then go watch the whole stream. It will be available on Twitch for a couple of weeks after we've um, broadcast anyways. And then we've got the Inferno run, which I said I'll be doing a local recording for, which I'll be recording some point through here with the intention of beginning to get that uploaded, um, well, getting it all uploaded previously and start getting those released uh, one video a day from Friday onwards until whenever it's complete. Again, 
Hopefully, this will not see any interruption. Uh, like I said, I will be, you know, getting through plenty of uh, remake of, of of the run probably through here. Uh, my last stream is going to be on Sunday, uh, the previous week. So I've got the, uh, in theory, all that time probably, in, probably Thursday as well, I reckon, uh, to get the rest of that recording done. So hopefully we should make it work. It should be reasonably fine. Um, and then, so you got obviously the various uploads uh, for the bat log. So Monday to Friday next week, we'll be uploading all ten videos of Consuming Shadow, which is uh, all that's left of that series. Uh, the various runs we did. Uh, the Saturday and Sunday will be spent uploading the uh, sort of mini session we did for Resident Evil Six Mercs. I'll spread that over two days, and then the both Among Us uh, streams will be uploaded Monday and Wednesday of the following week. I'm going to upload those as a full video. Um, I kind of looked at it and was trying to work out how realistically I'm going to break that down. It's kind of a little bit fiddly. And again, I am co co um, conscious, I should say, of editing time that is going to be available to me. So I'm just going to upload uh, the streams as a full stream of a couple of hours or however long it's going to be. I think that's probably the best way for me to do it, um, just to save on some time. There'll be some editing probably between games, maybe as and when necessary, but it'll be pretty much raw and it will be pretty much uploaded as a full video uh, for you guys to just sit by and watch uh, all the chaos over a couple of hours or so. Seems a good idea to do it. Uh, RTK will be continuing on uh, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 10 p.m. Uh, that should uh, continue on for the for the foreseeable future. Um, just as a note as well for that series, uh, for those that have been following, uh, me and Alonso had previously recorded quite a lot of the series, and this is as far as we've actually got in regards to our recording. Part 3 is the last video that we recorded. That was at the end of February. So at some point, probably this week, we'll have to sit down and uh, do a session so that I can get that edited and get that all sorted to upload onto YouTube over the next few weeks or so. And then we probably won't play another session until after I've made my move. But it shouldn't see any interruption from, um, from the move. It shouldn't. I can't say it won't, but it shouldn't. That's the plan. Now... You may notice in this calendar, um, and you may notice as far as this, that this does not include uh, the Remake 2 runs that I have done here. Uh, those will be uploaded some point beyond this. I don't quite know when. Um, I thought about kind of what I want to get uploaded first. I kind of want to get the, the, the smaller stuff done um, out the way. It's very possible that the Remake 2 runs will be uploaded upon the completion of Resident Evil 3 Inferno. I kind of don't want RE2 and RE3 going at the same time. It seems like a bit too much RE. I don't know, too much RE? Well, am I mad? But, you know, you understand what I'm trying to say here. So it's very likely I will edit those, or I might edit those once I get over to, once I've made the move. And we will keep all that, and those will be uploaded onto YouTube some point after the uh, some point after the move. Um, so we'll hold on to that, and I'll announce a date for that a little bit further on. And then, yeah, the Resistance Highlight Games uh, will be going up on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. There'll be highlight games of some kind or another for a little while um, for, on 10 p.m. This will include both games that I had played on Twitch as well as games that I played on my own, in my own time uh, if I don't stream it I actually record every game that I play um, to record notable games that occurred, of which there have been several. So those will also be sporadically thrown in. Uh, those videos do not have any mic track to them. It's just the core gameplay, a bit like um, when we did the beta for Resident Evil Resistance, um, the closed beta back in like November or whenever the hell it was. Um, I did a load of playing of that game just in my own time without mic. Um, and so some of those games that you saw there for that, if you saw them, didn't have a mic track, that's why. It's the same sort of thing we'll be doing for this. And we'll be kind of running that for a couple of weeks or so, kind of seeing how things go for Resistance, and uh, we'll kind of uh, touch that some point next month as to what I will tend to carry on. Other than that, I think that's pretty much everything here, um, as far as that's concerned. Uh, streams uh, are the only other thing. So we've got a stream today at 4 o'clock over on Twitch. Uh, we also will be doing, as I say, Sundays from 4pm onwards. I've made it earlier now. I do intend to do weekly resistance streams. I will, will be additional ones thrown in here and there, I imagine. Um, so this Sunday here, this Sunday here. 
this Sunday is in brackets, question mark, because, again, I don't know if this stream will happen, because, again, I don't know what kind of internet I may or may not have once I actually get there. Uh, if there is no upload, uh, if there is no stream resistance, I'll just put up another highlight game. Uh, that won't be too much of a problem. Uh, outside of that, we have got the Among Us social stream we're doing on Tuesday. This is Tuesday the 14th of April at 5 p.m. Everyone is welcome for that. Uh, and then on the 17th will be the Nightmare Run uh, of Resident Evil 3 Remake at 4 p.m. onwards. Uh, and that will be all the streaming I'll be doing until I move and get things sorted out again. We'll touch upon everything else once I make the move. So worry about that basically in May. Uh, but that's pretty much everything this calendar I can think of. All described there for you as to what intends to go on. Also to note as well on the Twitch page uh, that I have updated the changes to the calendar as well as updated the uh, countdown timer here as well for the said streams. So everything here is uh, nice and spick and ready to rock and roll. And again, I thank you to everyone that has been uh, participating in all the streams that I've been doing over the past couple of weeks. I don't think I've ever streamed so much over the course of two and a half, two and a half weeks of my life. I'm not sure I'm ever going to stream uh, so much in two and a half weeks, possibly ever again in my life. Um, it is the uh, it is the result of the bizarre situation that, of course, everyone finds themselves in at the moment that I've had so much time to do streaming. Um, and I've really enjoyed it, even if it has been pretty damn tiring at times. So, uh, yeah. But thanks to everyone who has been joining along for the streams and hopefully has been enjoying them and managing to take you away from the craziness of the world as we stand. Right, anyway, so that's going to be all for the stream. So thank you much for watching. If you do wish to get in contact with the channel, of course, there's always a variety of ways to do so. That is in the comments section below, um, of course, for the channel. Um, I should probably get myself like a vanity URL at some point. I know a lot of people have getting those. I should I should probably get that sorted out, actually. There's an idea. Uh, you can also get us at the Twitter sphere at uh, twitter.com slash blackshow993. You can go on to me at blackshow993 uh, for any tweets, for various information that I do post as well. Um, all streams that I, t I stream, uh, I do post a tweet on Twitter when I get uploaded. It's part of the Streamlabs OBS setup, actually, which is really nice. So uh, once I go live, there is a tweet automatically sent out to Twitter so you can know exactly when I start. As there is various bits of news and other bits and pieces, video uploads as well, do get posted on here as and when I remember to do them. Um, and yeah, mainly for stream news and the rest of it, as well as getting hold of me and uh, various bits and pieces like that. Uh, you can, of course, as well, if you wish to contribute to the corporate funds, you can certainly do so at uh, patreon.com slash blackshadow993. Uh, you can look to become a patron on the channel to support us in any way, shape, or form. I still despise the setup that currently Patreon is running with. I don't know what was wrong with the previous version, but apparently this looks better to them than what they had. I have no idea. I have absolutely absolutely no idea what they were thinking it's kind of hideous but hey ho um and of course we also have the discord server as well uh there's a link of that in the video description uh below this and every other video so you can get in contact with us um for that way i'm usually around or there thereabouts um, so you can contact me via here. Obviously, we've got our general chat, the latest releases um, for information of when videos go up, as well as some Twitch notifications. Event scheduling for me, yourself, and all the partners. We'll put ourselves up of uh, when we're all going live. Um, and yes, folks, I know it's the obligatory one. Sigh. Yeah. Yeah. You know what time it is, everyone. Come on. Let's let our rests. What have we got? Uh, fantastic so very much for listening everyone hope you've enjoyed this there probably won't be an update video done now until our um until i've completed my move I don't see why I would need to do one before that um uh, as far as that's concerned I'm definitely looking forward to the move. It's um, a little nerve-wracking for sure, but I'm pretty sure in the long run that I'm going to largely, largely be grateful that I made the decision and can only hope that it works out well, although I strongly suspect that the actual day of doing it may be a bit of a sad one. You know, only I've lived here for 26 years, 
nearly 27 years. So, uh, yeah. First move out, like proper move out, like not even anywhere near move out. It's going to be a hell of a day, folks. It's going to be one hell of a day. Thanks for listening, everyone. I'll see you soon.